how cryptocurrency actually works. We've often heard about cryptocurrency, and at this point most of you would be aware of what cryptocurrency is. The question arises of how cryptocurrency works. Welcome back to our channel. In this video we will walk you through what cryptocurrency is and how it works. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you can do so by clicking here. Cryptocurrency is a sort of digital and decentralized currency. Cryptocurrencies may be used to buy and sell items, and their ability to store and grow value has piqued the interest of many investors. At its foundation, cryptocurrency is a value system. When investors purchase a cryptocurrency, they are wagering on the asset's future value, just as stock market investors purchase securities when they feel the company will grow and share prices will rise. Stock valuations are essentially discounted projections of a company's future cash flows, because there's no underlying corporation. There is no analogous valuation criterion for cryptocurrencies. The value of a cryptocurrency is solely determined by investor appetite. The value of a cryptocurrency is determined by one of two factors, the chance of the investors purchasing asset or the functionality of the cryptocurrency's blockchain. Now that you understand how these currencies were created and how they work in general, let's take a deeper look at how they work beginning with Bitcoin. Blockchain is the technology created by Satoshi Nakamoto and the early Bitcoin enthusiasts. Blockchain technology tracks and verifies Bitcoin mining as well as transactions involving the currencies. The blockchain stores all the information that is publicly published, regularly updated with transactions and validated by users. This makes hacking extremely difficult. It is critical to realize that blockchain is a sort of technology, not an asset or a firm. Several businesses are attempting to leverage blockchains for various applications. For example, Ethereum is attempting to incorporate blockchain technology into smart contracts, which would eliminate the intermediary and automate the transaction of money, shares, or property. As digital currencies acquire popularity and value, there is a greater focus on how they are mined. Remember that early Bitcoin users did not buy or trade Bitcoin, they mined them instead. To put it simply, Bitcoin mining is the process of verifying transactions on the blockchain ledger. As transactions take place, miners authenticate each one to ensure its accuracy. These transactions occur continuously and are added to a block as they occur. Each block contains a set number of transactions as well as a link to the preceding block. When a certain amount of transactions are added to a block, it is added to a blockchain. However, before it can be added to the blockchain, miners must solve complicated math puzzles using sophisticated computers to validate all of the transactions and the order in which they occurred, and then add the block to the network. As a reward, the miners receive their fee in the coin of that block, increasing the total quantity of currencies in the world. It should be noted that some coins, such as Bitcoin, have a limit on the number of coins that can be mined. Similar to how leather wallets keep tangible dollar bills, two types of wallets can store cryptocurrency. Hot storage wallets and cold storage wallets are the two types of digital wallets. Hot wallets are created online through services like Crypto.com, Coinbase, and Gemini. A cold storage wallet is a method of storing coins and other kinds of cryptocurrency that is not accessible online. It is a piece of actual hardware, such as a thumb drive. Let us now discuss how cryptocurrency can be utilized. Cryptocurrencies aid digital payment systems that do not rely on banks for transaction verification. This peer-to-peer -peer technology enables anybody anywhere to make and receive electronic money. Instead of holding physical money and exchanging it in the real world, cryptocurrency payments exist solely as digital currencies that can be transferred via digital wallets or crypto exchanges. When users send Bitcoin funds, the transactions are promptly recorded in public ledgers on blockchain. Cryptocurrencies like real money have their own set of applications, which include Cryptocurrencies have made their way into mainstream commerce, where users may use them to buy common things both online and in person. Cryptocurrency ecosystems enable seamless global trade by allowing for the easy transfer of funds across borders. You can use a Bitcoin debit card to spend cryptocurrency at a retailer that does not accept it directly. Cryptocurrency may also be sent or received as a kind of payment. Cryptocurrencies enable users to trade NFTs, which are digital valuables. They can utilize NFTs to support their hobbies and idols or speculate in the lucrative NFT market. Users can utilize cryptocurrency to produce one-of-a-kind digital art, music, and in-game collectibles to sell. 
These are limited edition and one-of-a-kind works of digital art. They have revolutionized the art industry. Users can utilize cryptocurrency to make donations or support causes that are important to them. Cryptocurrencies are increasingly accepted by charitable groups such as Red Cross, UNICEF, and Greenpeace. It is dependent on where you reside if you pay your expenses and whether you can with Bitcoin. Some countries are increasingly permitting cryptocurrencies to be used as a substitute for traditional currencies, while others such as El Salvador have made Bitcoin legal tender. With cryptocurrencies being so popular these days, many people have begun gambling on the pricing of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin as a side income. An otherwise option is to seek initial coin offerings and get in on the first floor, which can give some decent profits over time. Cryptocurrency transactions have various advantages. Cryptocurrency transactions provide you the advantage of trading in real time, allowing you to complete deals in minutes. Transactions are automated once the blockchain has authenticated the authenticity of your bank account and verified that you have adequate funds. When compared to conventional financial services, the cost of transacting with Bitcoin is quite low. Cryptocurrency transactions enable individuals to conduct transactions using their mobile devices or desktops. You can conduct and verify transactions around the clock using your computer or smartphone and an internet connection. Cryptocurrencies are encrypted, which means that only the user have access to the private keys in their crypto wallet, allowing them to handle their assets. Maintain the secrecy of your private key. Because you do not need to open an account with a financial institution to use cryptocurrencies, you may keep yours private. A cryptocurrency public ledger conceals individual identities as well as their cryptocurrency balances while also keeping lack of all transactions completed between network participants. Users can conduct transactions while remaining anonymous by using pseudonyms. Despite the benefits, cryptocurrencies are not without risk. Mining cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency transactions involve a large processing operation that consumes enormous amount of energy. Cryptocurrency prices fluctuate, thus exposing you to the danger of losing money. Because cryptocurrencies are a new phenomenon, governments have yet to enact concrete legislation restricting their use on the latter point. Because cryptocurrencies operate on a decentralized basis, they cannot be governed by a single country, posing legal complications in terms of taxation and money laundering. One of the most frequently asked questions is, is cryptocurrency safe? Investing in cryptocurrencies can be risky as an enterprise due to its price volatility, crypto data loss or theft, and legality concerns in some areas. However, cryptocurrencies are becoming more popular and mainstream. Some financial institutions are even selling crypto insurance, and some cryptocurrencies are pegged to real currencies such as the US dollar to reduce volatility. Let's now discuss Bitcoin exchanges. Exchanges of cryptocurrencies serve as a cryptocurrency market. They are sites where users can sell and purchase cryptocurrencies, as well as exchange one cryptocurrency for another. You can also purchase digital assets such as NFTs, convert Bitcoin to Ethereum and cryptocurrency back into dollars, or another currency, or purchase crypto using regular currency. To buy and sell cryptocurrencies, you typically open an account with a cryptocurrency exchange or broker and fund it with real money after which you can trade any coins that the exchange offers. You can buy less than one cryptocurrency, for example. A single Bitcoin now costs tens of thousands of pounds, but you could buy a fraction of one if you only had a tiny amount to spend. And that's all for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share it, and we'll be back with another informative video very soon. Till then, stay tuned.